Welcome back to Digital Citizen Academy. Digi is here again to help you learn more about how to be a great digital citizen. In this module, you will learn about the I in T-H-I-N-K and how to be an inspiring friend. By now, you have learned that you need to T-H-I-N-K when using technology. You understand you need to be truthful and helpful, but do you know what it means to be inspiring? Inspiring means to encourage. We all like it when we are encouraged to be the best we can be, so it makes sense that you would also be encouraging to your friends, just like Digi, our model digital citizen. Digi loves to go to the baseball games and cheer on his favorite team. Do you think that the baseball players like to hear their fans encouraging them to play well and win? As it turns out, when Digi and all the other fans are cheering them on, it inspires them to perform their best and try hard to win. Digi appreciates it when his teacher tells him how well he is doing in school. Digi struggles at math. Mr. Parker is a teacher who makes him want to work harder to get better at math. Mr. Parker always tells his students that they can do anything they want if they try hard and try again until they get it right. We all like to be encouraged to do our best. And just like in school, we want our family and friends to inspire us to be our best. Digi remembers one time when he was playing a game with Albert online. They were on the same team playing against their friends, Marley and Riley. Digi was not playing well, and Albert started to get angry. He started posting on the game site that he needed a new teammate because the one he had was horrible. He started yelling at Digi to do better and to step it up. Albert was not being encouraging. Digi felt hurt that his friend was not inspiring him to play better. Albert made him feel like not playing at all. Marley and Riley both posted on the game that they thought Albert needed to stop saying mean things about Digi. They said they would not play with him if he was going to be discouraging to Digi because it was mean. They told Albert to encourage and inspire Digi and help him to be a better player. Albert apologized to Digi and the others. Digi wants you to remember that you should always speak up when someone is being hurtful. You should always support your friends and even those you don't know very well. Think about what you want people to remember about you. Digi believes you want them to remember you as an inspiring and encouraging person. Inspiring our friends to make good choices online is very important. Marley and Riley encouraged Albert to stop being mean and stuck up for Digi. After Albert apologized, he told Digi that he would teach him some tricks to play the game better and they would work together to play as a team. Digi felt better and was excited to be learning some tips. By second grade, you know it is not okay to do online, but once in a while it is important to review what is and is not okay. We all need to be able to count on our friends to help us remember to always be good digital citizens. Digi wants to remind us that we need to cooperate with others in order to be the most inspirational. When friends all work together, they are cooperating. It is easier when everyone works together to get something done. When we stick together, it is easier to make the right choices and do a good job. Being considerate of others is also important. Considerate means to show concern for the feelings of others and to be thoughtful and unselfish. Digi remembers to think of others when he is posting something online. When he posts, he reminds himself that others are reading what he posts and he does not want anyone to think badly of him. It is very easy for people to post things online that they might not say out loud or even in person. These things may not be nice or inspiring, so he only posts things he would say to others in person. This is how Digi makes sure he has a good digital reputation. Second graders, someone might ask you to do something online that a good digital citizen would not do. Remember, we want to inspire and encourage our friends, not discourage them. If someone asks you to break the rules, remember to T-H-I-N-K and make the best choice for yourself. Think about a time when you inspired someone to be the best they could be. 
How did that make you feel? Digi feels good when he knows he helped someone achieve a goal. If you told your teacher that you felt like you could not pass a math test, your teacher would most likely tell you you can do anything you set your mind to. With hard work and practice, your teacher would try to make sure you could pass the test. You can do this, second graders! Digi is proud that his friends are learning to be good digital citizens. Digi knows you are doing your best to be truthful, helpful, and inspiring when you use technology. And now, a word from our founder, Lisa Stroman. Technology is always going to be a part of our lives, but we have to remember that with this privilege comes responsibility. Digital Citizen Academy was created to help you become a responsible digital citizen by empowering, educating, and inspiring you to become a leader in the technology space. We want you to be safe online, and we also want you to have a voice in what happens with your digital footprint. Thank you for being a good digital citizen, and welcome to the DCA team.